thing after I last woke up, but then the duo format came, and well, I had the chance to play with one of my closest friends. I just finally have the answer, so no, and does pack and call Junior book your tickets into the grand final of the yes! 2023 yes! Trimania World Championship. We are here for the Worlds. It's the most prestigious tournament in Trackmania, and we've known the game, we've discovered the game with this eSport, the World Cup. So for us, it was always the main objective to win, and this is the competition to win this year. So it means a lot, and we are aiming for the top for sure. I think also for it being on a stage again and like having a venue like this to play at, it gives it a whole new atmosphere. There might not be a crowd, but to play again at a LAN event and with such like high graphics and studio, it, it really means a lot to be able to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, it is time to let the field loose and go racing for the first time today. Solari versus ITB is go right now with round number one. Start of round three here, not at the end of round three, at the end of two rounds, we are back on the somewhat even footing. First and second, Asha continue to be right in the coattails of Carl's car. It's not going to be enough for the Swiss man. 0.968. It will be the ace for Solari and one that is very much needed. Five to one. Very much needed. Watch out for the too much airtime. Carl Pack, first second again. Second consecutive ace for Solari. Six nil. This is called Junior Pack, just behind Asha, but the gaps are already quite big. Results of this, and now, at the moment, trying to make a move, stick back, forced to release very heavily again. Can Mima take advantage of that with the late apex entry? Karchin looking a little bit slow to the line. It's not enough for the Polish player from ITB, and it's a second consecutive ace in three rounds for Solari, who are on map point number three. And will win that round hand in hand. This could happen, but Call is not too far behind. Has a point six and has a PP on this map, so he's able to go very fast. Ladies and gentlemen, we are underway for the final map here of this second game of the day. Solar Reaver Society can be played this map in the match just yet, but Mime has to own that rubble. He has to record in the leaderboard. So that is an important thing to notice. We haven't seen Afi and Mine. To win the second place ahead of Afi, it will be Mine and Afi first and third looking to secure a victory. Carl will be splitting the middle in second position. Mine with a point nine seventy two sub 104 and ITB one victory away to get seat one. Continue with good speed, overtakes one. Will he overtake Afi as well? No, he will not. And ITB beats Solary here four to three. What a great performance from them. What a great performance. I think we lost because the other team was very strong. We played quite well today, so I'm proud of us in a way. We didn't have the win, we're here for the win though. We had a few maps that we were not on our A game. In the whole match, I really think we did pretty good and they just beat us because they were very, very good and not because we played bad. On tubes, I feel like I forgot how to play the end, and sort of all the training went out in those high pressure moments. So when it comes to it, it's all about what you can do in the moment. And I feel like the final round showed what I could do and what we could do as a team on the high pressure moments. But when it comes to the whole match, there was just something to work on in terms of being under pressure. The only thing we need to just work on is just being not nervous. I don't. I just need to work on not being so shaky, and then I'm fine. Didn't turn. I, I always turn just before the ice. And I didn't oh, you turn. bounce on the lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hard. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck? What did you crash? Did I crash? Round two then? No, round two. No, you crashed round one because you were two seconds behind. Here. Whoa! Yeah, that was terrible by me. Oh, this. yeah. Oh. That's a big crash, though. I it's know. not like a. We'll get back to them in the final, come on. Mm -hmm.
here we go. Match number one is ongoing. We start off on Cosmos, which is the first pick from Solar. Number Solomon. one here on Cosmos. Only a victory is needed for them to close the entry through that chicane, and that will allow Carl and Pack to move up into first and second. Will they retain it up until the end? Yes. yes. And that's Carl and Pack with two back to back aces. That's being won by them. So it will be the second ace in three rounds for Solar. He's not even getting so close to hitting on the corner. 282 for Pack. That will potentially give him a solid opportunity, but actually country competition for them with much better exit speed and thus continues to hold on that first place. Massa cannot do anything but pray for a mishap at the final corner, but it will not happen. And with the 1-3 at the line, it will be a 10-9 scoreline. Solar Reverse Alliance, here we go. Oh. Will this be the ace for Solary? No, it seems like what I will deny, but they're all on monstrous times. Where's everybody going? It's so close, and it's Carl Jr. Yes. It's the ace for yes. Team Solary. For that first place, he's going to go for broke. Doesn't make it happen. What does the stopwatch say? This guy is a monster. Carl Jr. with a new world record. Can he try to make a desperate move? Has the final hair been? The answer is a no. And does back and Carl Jr. Boom, just yes. took it into the grand final of those 2020. In the semi against Alliance, everything worked well for us. We did uh, insane times. We had a really good consistency, except on some maps. But then again, it's you cannot be good on all maps in the match. I think it's our best match of the tournament so far. I think they really put up a fight. I could have done better on a couple maps. But then again, I think for us, it went perfect as a team on the other ones that we played. On a map that we both feel comfortable on, pulling out the rounds that we need to is, is where we excel. Oh my god! Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> See momentum on Twisted? <laughs> I can do anything with that. You guys just eat up through the whole match. It was like actually crazy. Yeah, but we need we need to yeah, we need to, to chill out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill out. Chill Nothing is that. done, man. I just still focused. Oh my god! We're in the finals. What a bad day! And what a round! If we can dive, we can both lose those maps easily. Yeah. The rest, the rest we can win any, we can win any 50 miles right. The last round against Alliance we did so good and they did so good as well. Yeah. So everybody's good on the pressure at this level. ITB having to play the full map set. Like yeah, well, they have to play Twisted and Cosmos yeah. now against yeah. us, yeah, yeah, yeah. which, which is good. Right. Imagine if it's KC in the final. I'd play shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I need you, brother. But this will be an insane time for Brand. No! Oh, he's gonna win this round of no! no! oh! That is actually happening to Brand. No way. Oh! oh! For the coming court this time, the answer is a yes! And with a score of 12 to 11, we go to a classico, Carl and Pack versus Osaka and Fred. KC just beat ITB, the both teams played amazing, so it will be very hard. And also, they have the momentum right now because they just won. It looks like they've gone from playing pretty average at first and then every single round they just get better so if the theme continues the final is going to be really difficult. For one final time in the World Championship it's time to let the field loose and go racing there and it's going to be a tough fight for B2 oh, no. and that's a such an unfortunate oh, remain right there until the end. Otak under the yes. pack, pack oh, almost sniping God. in for two thousandths of a second in this small white forced to fall off the pipe. And with that first place, it will be 2-0 for the Carmine Corp. Canadian hold on still. He goes for a bit of two real time. Brent with a much better setup for the second corner. Now the final corner can hold. Carginio hold on. Back moving up to second place. And that will be the ace to conclude the map. And he already gets passed back. For second place, doesn't hold for now. Can he try to retaliate towards the end? It's going to be that connect. Back a little bit slower than Otak. Time to the way, to the line. It's going to be Otak sniping back for four thousandths of a second. Back and Carginio, we need first in third position. This map. Let's follow the Oltak here for the ending, and it is Carl Jr.'s pack take a quick second map to their name. That is an insane identity from Pack, denying the worst outcome, but no, Pack for the mid-time! Oh, yeah.
Against KC, I think from the moment we lost our first map in the close way, it just felt like more difficult and more difficult. And when you win like this, you always gain momentum. So they always had more momentum on us. And I think there were three or four maps that it was 9-8 for us and they just aced us at the end. For them, it's like a huge boost, but um, I'm super proud of uh, Bren. I've known him for, for so long and mm -hmm. I've always knew he had the potential to be like the, the world's best and he finally proved it. It's so good to see. He's, so. he's always been there, knocking at the door. And it is actually really good to see. So Bren. yeah, like I'm uh, happy. obviously we're a bit sad for us, but we're also really happy for him. And Attack obviously, but Bren is a long, long time uh, friend of ours. I'm upset that we lost, but at the end of the day, we've had an incredible year together. We're second in the world, my dude. We're second in the world, I'll take it's it. It's something, it's yeah. something. It's, it's good. We've trained a lot for this, and a lot of teams have trained a lot. I think it's the first time that so many people boot camped for yeah. this. And it showed in the level, but not only in the grand final, or not only like the level between the top eight players. It's well, so good to see. I, I feel like the game is going somewhere still in terms of talent. Everyone still puts in so much effort. We saw so many people come into qualifiers, into the middle stage, and then now the finals with new people and even old people still bring in their A game and bring in the best matches. I think we lost, but we put on a great show. I had a lot of talks before because I'm quite tired of Trackmania yeah, in the past like three or four years. Well, I had no fun playing the game and even in the competition all I'm feeling is pressure so it's not fun. I was thinking about uh, stopping after the last World Cup but then the duo format came and well I had the chance to play with one of my closest friends in my life. We don't even know what's next in the calendar. If there's a World Cup next year and it's in duo I'd really like to to try to, to, to get back that title now. A long break is ready for me on track. Yeah, a long I mean, end. until the next main event comes along. I like to play professionally, I like to play the high-end competitions, and when there's not a high-end competition, I feel like there's not the most point. We've done it for so many years now. Well, you can see it, we play for money nowadays. Like, I play for it's, money, it's, it's but I also job. play for the title. I want to be yeah, a two-time yeah. world champion. Yeah, it's not time to retire for you, my dear. No, it's not. But I just hope there's more events like this coming in the game. I hope next year has many events like this. Hopefully there's another world championship that we can both go in together.